Dear IT professionals, I hope you guys are aware about AI. In fact, you are using AI features to perform your day-to-day -day activity. Like you are using AI to write an email, you are using AI feature to create any kind of PPT, and you are taking help from AI portal to perform any documentation related task. Everyone, if you are still using AI for this small activity, it means that you are missing a lot about the AI features. Hey everyone, this is Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor. And in this class, I'm going to guide you how you can utilize the AI hidden feature that you can implement in your day-to-day -day activity to resolve the real-time issues. Because you know that you are an IT engineer and your responsibility to take care of the infrastructure of client, your responsibility to manage Office 365 portal, we are responsible to pro resolve the problem related to the desktop, networking, printer, active directory services, and we are responsible to take care about security and backup part as well. So how we can utilize the AI features to resolve issues related to these technologies, like related to mailing services, about uh, desktop related issues, network related issues and backup. So let's proceed and try to understand about the concept of AI and uh, the types of AI, which is really important because 90% uh, users, 90% customer of AI can use the AI just for the small activity. The basic task, we are using AI for the basic activity. In this class, I'm going to guide you how you can uh, leverage the features of AI that will definitely help you to enhance your uh, technical activity, enhance your uh, uh, skill in multiple technologies. Let's start from the very basic AI as per the name suggests artificial intelligence. You know that it works just like as a mediator that which is responsible to grab the information from our existing data center or existing database because you know that Google is a one of uh, largest data center provider because that contains the information about and millions of informations contained by the Google. AI directly connected with these types of data center and whenever we prompt anything, whenever we try to search anything, it will immediately coordinate with the existing data center and give you the proper solution, right? But AI basically divided into two different parts, right? You can, you can categorize your AI into different parts. One is related to generic AI and another is related to the productive AI. Let's talk about the gap between uh, generic AI and productive AI, right? And huge gap as a working professional, always try to prepare yourself for the productive AI. Because in case of generic AI, we are not able to integrate the feature of generic AI with our existing platform. You are trying to utilize, you are trying to integrate your AI with your on-premises Active Directory. You are trying to integrate with your, your Office 365 or any type of backup services that you are currently using. And you want to connect your AI portal or AI services with the, these platform. Generic AI will not help you. But in case of productive AI will definitely help us to integrate with the, our existing resources and services. Number of examples that we have related to the generic AI, like I'm going to start from the very basic. I'm talking about chat GPT, right? What a popular AI, right? That we are using this particular platform to generate image, create videos, or uh, we can also use it for writing email. Next, you know that about DeepSeek, right? This is another a kind of uh, generic AI, right? And now let's talk about productive AI, right? Lots of practical that we need to perform. So that is why I'm just going to give you the basic information about the gap between generic AI and productive AI. In case of productive AI, you know that Copilot, right? This is one of important AI provider available in the market. And the second one is Gemini. You know that the Copilot managed by Microsoft. This is the product of Microsoft and Gemini is product of Google. Google and Microsoft both are a type of popular service provider, IT service provider in entire world. 
number of products provided by Microsoft, like uh, you know that Copilot is responsible to work with a different another platforms provided by uh, Microsoft. Like as you can use the feature of Copilot with Microsoft 365. You can use with Microsoft Intune with the uh, Azure portal and also any Windows based operating system, right? The same Copilot will be applicable for Microsoft 365 services, Microsoft Intune, Azure, and you can use the feature of Copilot with Windows 10 and Windows 11 operating systems as well, right? Apart from these portals, you can also utilize AI feature for our day-to-day -day task activity. Like you, we are using Outlook on daily basis. We are using Microsoft Teams, our all the applications like right? apps in the sense like microsoft word excel powerpoint onenote ai is integrated with all these products that provided by microsoft 365 definitely i'll guide you i'll help you how we can use ai uh, copilot or ai with microsoft teams with outlook with application word excel and powerpoint this is day one of uh, this particular class and definitely i'll in upcoming days according to your response will provide you more information what about Gemini? So Gemini definitely this is also uh, like as a productive kind of uh, AI which is directly integrated with workspace. Everyone I'm talking about Google workspace that help us to manage the email related services and also you can use the feature of uh, Gemini with Google Cloud Platform GCP. All done. I hope everyone okay with the point that we discussed regarding the productive AI and uh, what about generic AI. You are working professional, you are working in IT industry, always try to use productive AI. I am not saying do not use the generic AI, but definitely we are not able to integrate this uh, AI with our existing activity. So that is the reason I would like to suggest you please try to use productive AI that will definitely help you and boost your uh, kind of uh, productivity. Cool. Let's talk about, I hope everyone okay. Let's proceed with another option. Now we can use our AI with multiple way like as a usage of AI, right? You know that free trial available, you can use your AI for free trial and the server, second one subscription base right you can use AI free trial for testing purpose and you can also use the uh, paid version of AI apart from this AI is available in two different part AI platform and AI studio AI Studio contains lots of features. Those features can use to like perform the automation related activity. I am going to show you. Basically, I am going to guide you about the use cases of our Copilot and Gemini in our day to day activity. So let me move to the browser and I have already logged in my Microsoft 365 account to show you the work of Copilot. And also, this is the page where we can find the Google Studio Gemini, our AI Studio for Gemini use cases. Clear? So let's start with the Copilot. Whenever we open the Copilot, it will give us an option related to the chat. Even you want to type something, you just need to open and type something, and it will give you, which is considered as a prompting. You need to type like uh, how to install okay a d d s in server 2022 all okay this is the prompt right this is the prompt and whenever we type it will give you the complete information with prerequisite see step by step installation guide for active active services, open server manager dashboard, add role and features, select ADDS role and then follow the step, decide the name, promote your role and uh, then type the name of your domain controller 
and next 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 and finish this is the method one that you can use the feature of chat option but let's try to use chat option not we are not going to use chat option let's try to uh, create our own kind of templates where we do not type again and again we just need to inspect all the commands and put on the agent and uh, you just need to click and agent will give you the proper information i am going to create one agent and this agent will be applicable to resolve any problem related to active directory apart from typing we are able to find microphone option you just need to click here and you can ask anything right if you are going to say something or you are going to ask anything to your uh, uh, like as a what we can say that about uh, copilot co it will recognize your voice and give you the proper response the important part the another important thing with this particular microphone option you can ask in any language like in your you you are compatible with english hindi or any other languages so you just need to use your own native language to ask any question directly to the copilot plus in the corner we are able to find one option related to the agent like this is one option agent and whenever we click here it will give us option related to the number of agents which are currently available with microsoft portal so let me open our agent part and uh, let's create a uh, uh, kind of uh, new agent for us like i have already established one agent with name of uh, network troubleshooting right click create agent and i'm going to show you how we can create new agent for any type of troubleshooting whenever we click here it will redirect us on another page where we can describe configure try it it's totally depend upon you so i want to configure my own agent so that is the reason i'm going to click on configure this is the place you can type the name of your agent uh i'm going to type uh, agent name adds configuration okay so i'm going to create a agent with name of adds configuration this is the name of agent that i decided do you want to describe something about your agent this agent will help to no more this agent will help to set up adds fine this is the description that you need to type it's totally depend upon you you can use any description as per the requirement bit slow and after that you need to scroll down and it will give us some multiple option this is the place where we can create your own template like uh, the first title i'm going to use dhcp right this is related to the dhcp troubleshooting go to the message and in the message type what you want to search how to configure dhcp right you just need to type the message how to configure dhcp number second i'm going to type another kind of template dns right and in that message or instruction you just need to type how to configure dns right so for the example you can add multiple information 
मल्टीपल क्वेश्चन यू कैन पुट ऑन दट ऑन योर एजेंट इट्स टोटली डिपेंड अपॉन यू एंड इफ एवरीथिंग इज ओके यू जस्ट नीड टू प्रोसीड एंड ट्राई टू क्रिएट इट राइट so this agent is basically customized agent that you are going to establish as per your requirement so once our agent is ready i'm going to guide you about how we can use our custom agent and this will be applicable for permanent right once you create your agent it will be applicable for permanent in future if you need to know about the procedure how to configure dscp open your microsoft agent copilot agent and click on how to configure dscp it will give you the all information it will guide you with all the steps i think everything is okay we are good with that we need to proceed and create name is adds configuration uh, description this is for adds okay you need to describe something about uh, uh, like the the agent that you are trying to create no need to do anything we provided information related to the configuration and your agent will create just need to click create or to say wait for a few more minute and once our agent is ready i'll show you how a your agent can work do not use chat option every time you can create your own templates right you are getting a tickets on daily basis you copy the tickets and put into the agent and you can use your agent for permanent right great we successfully created our agent do you want to open do you want to assign another user that we are going to discuss in upcoming classes let me click on go to agent and it will show you a dedicated page for your own agent that we just created your agent is now ready to use see two different agent we establish uh wait 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 just give me one minute let me click on all agent the agent that we established which is in progress wait for a more, more minute please this is adds configuration that we just created i'm going to open this agent how many troubleshooting point that we mentioned how to configure dscp how to configure dns i'm going to click here on my agent that i created no need to do anything your agent is started click on regenerate wait for a few more minutes it will guide you everything how to configure dscp see all the steps provided by your agent so this is the actual use cases of our ai stop using ai to perform the basic task utilize the features of ai copilot and gemini in next class i'm going to guide you about how we can manage and utilize the features of google cloud gemini thank you guys take care bye bye do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel